<laughs> I'm going to spin this to Matt Wentz <laughs> uh, because the word that uh, you used to describe the greatest of all time, and Jim Donovan mentioned he's widely regarded as the technically the most technically sound tackle ever. He's the goat. Goat, greatest oh, of all that's time. The word. That's your weather word today. Got it. Nice. We'll, we'll get goat in the forecast for sure. And uh, Jay, I'm not worthy as well. Uh, you already know that, though. All right, tonight, let's start with the boring part of the forecast, right? Just clouds sticking up tonight after some sunshine today. Notice winds are light as well. Temperatures right near 30 degrees. Quiet overnight tonight. It's pre daybreak, like four, five, six o'clock in the morning. We'll start to bring that snow in from the south. So here's our system we're talking about. The big deal with this is it's so far reaching. The real estate this system's going to cover with not just snowfall, but the severe weather is large. And there's lots of moisture with us, just copious amounts of moisture coming out of the Gulf. Notice the heavy snow they had it in Arizona and New Mexico last night. Now it's near Texas and there he's near Lubbock over towards Amarillo. Areas uh, over towards Oklahoma City, the I-40 corridor getting hit hard with heavy snow right now. This whole thing comes up through Ohio. In fact, the actual center of low pressure will track right over the Buckeye State. All of this moisture coming into our cold air that we've got, and so a lot of that will continue to be on the snowy side. You notice this, some 2,000 miles of winter storm warnings and winter weather advisories stretching through Ohio. There's a severe weather and wind component to this as well along the Gulf Coast. For us, it's the snowy side of things. So we've got a winter weather advisory for all of our counties. It starts early in the morning hours. It goes through early afternoon. The reason why it goes through early afternoon is because we'll start to change over to some rain as we warm that atmosphere up as some of that warm air gets into this system. So the forecast hasn't changed. I've been very impressed with the models over the last two days. They've nailed where that demarcation line is between the rain and the snow. So let's talk about it tomorrow morning getting started. I mean, look at this, 4 o'clock in the morning, it's not snowing yet, okay? So we're not going to have a lot of snow on the ground. The snow will be starting down towards the south, and it's going to come in hot and heavy, much like it did on Sunday. Big old fat flakes, reduced visibility, it's going to pile up pretty quickly. This snow spreads north, so by 7 o'clock, it just started snowing off towards the north, but we're laying down a foundation of some snow on area roadways. Despite the pretreatment, despite the salt, I think this is going to overcome that with some of these rates, and we're going to turn snowy around here. That's the problem with this storm system. It's it's not a blockbuster storm. It's the fact it's arriving right during that morning rush hour. It's going to basically be Sunday's drive, which got treacherous fast, but there weren't that many people out on a rush hour tomorrow morning. Eventually, as we go throughout the midday hours, we'll start to bring warmer air into the system. So we turn over to kind of a gloppy rain after everything's coated in snow down towards the south. Where does this line set up? Well, the models have been very consistent in keeping it right through Erie and Huron County. So it looks like we stay all snow in Sandusky. Meanwhile, we have breaks, so it rains. We just have clouds. Cloudy periods, more rain mixing in from Cleveland down towards the south. No travel impacts expected east of Cleveland and south of Cleveland as we get in that evening rush hour. Sandusky still tracking snow. Late in the evening, though, colder air wraps back in. We change it all over to snow. And then we talk lake effect. I think this could be the most impactful for Cleveland on into Thursday morning as the lake effect keeps going. And then scattered snow showers throughout your Thursday will only add to some of the totals around here. In terms of your snowfall forecast, this is how much falls by seven. Not much, maybe one to three inches, but it'll come in here fast. So not a big snow tomorrow morning. Keep that in mind as we go into the afternoon. Notice Sandusky dealing with some snow. And then as we get into that lake effect part of the storm, that's when we start to pile up a little bit more, several additional inches. But the impacts by far are back from Sandusky West, and that will be all day tomorrow. So this system, certainly not the GOAT. Notice that tomorrow morning we're dealing with just a snowy morning commute. We'll have it at moderate with the roads. Not a lot of wind with this and not a lot of cold with it either. And in terms of snow related weather accidents, want to share this briefly. When do we get the most snow related accidents? Is it traced to two inches, two to six or the big snows, six to twelve? It's actually the little amounts. In fact, it's four to five times as many accidents with a little bit of snow. That's why we need to take it careful tomorrow morning. Union Hill Mortgage seven day forecast. More snow after that coming up this weekend and heading in the next week. We'll highlight that coming up in the next half hour. We're back with more after this.